Welcome back to my channel. This is The Psychic Scene with Jennifer Jean. So I hope everybody's doing okay out there. I know we're going through some really tough times. Um, as of this, uh, this video is being put out to you on June 5th, 2020. Um, I know the energy is very heavy right now. And I know many of you really don't know what to do or to expect or how to react to the events that have, have unfolded in the past week or so. But um, just want you to know that I have your back. I'm here to help you any way I can. Um, I, I feel like there is a silver lining right now that um, we are doing a lot of self-reflection. We're getting to be with our families more and to realize um, how important people are to us. And, and we're also getting closer to the goals that we're trying to accomplish in life. So these things are good. And also we're, we're getting more of a sense of community and, and doing what is right at the present time. So how am I getting through this time? <laughs> it's been it's been a roller coaster ride for me. Um, honestly, I'm a freelance musician. I play French horn. I'm a music therapist in addition to being an intuitive. And pretty much all my work has been, you know, taken away from me. But I'm grateful in some ways because I do get a time to reflect and work on um, and these, you know, work on these videos and work with all of you, um, you know, trying to make sense of this whole thing. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, I want to say that I think it's really important that we are looking after our spiritual self. Um, and I think even though some of the events going on are very disturbing, I feel like we need to face them and to, to right what is wrong. So I feel that it's not a time for spiritual bypassing, but for spiritual action. So today's topic is, am I intuitive or just anxious? And this is a topic that comes up frequently. I taught a class last weekend and one of the students asked me, is like, am I crazy or am I intuitive? So um, I'm gonna share with you what I, what I told her. So I think that, you know, we're all on edge right now and, you know, for a good reason. I mean, it's it's really easy to be hyper vigilant right now. And indeed, intuitives are very sensitive people. And um, in these times, I feel that there has been a lot of precognition about the events that are unfolding, especially in astrology. Um, you know, I didn't get any, I didn't get any hits on this. I didn't feel like I didn't have any um, precognition about the events that are going on. I know I did during 9-11. I lived in Manhattan during the time. So I was closer to the source. But I mean, this, the you know, the coronavirus is all over the place. So it's really hard to, you know, to nail it down energetically. It was just a free floating anxiety that was going on. But I know that many people did get a glimpse of what was to be. Anyway, um, I think in order to help you with this, I want to define what anxiety is versus what intuition is. So anxiety is feelings of worry, nervousness or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. And then, you know, to contrast that with precognition, it's simply just the knowledge of an event or situation. If you want to go a step further with intuition, it's the ability to understand something without the need for conscious reasoning. So it is, I think that anxiety is a little bit more free floating and intuition is something that may come out of the blue, but that is persistent and that keeps nagging you to do something about it. So, Anxiety is part of the autonomic nervous system and that's the fight or flight. That's you know the, the type of thing back in the caveman days that kept people alive. It's a survival instinct. But I again I believe that intuition is a deeper knowing uh, and a deep, you know, a calmer voice that comes to you and says something isn't right, I need to do something about it. Anxiety may come and go, but the intuitive thought will keep with you no matter what. You'll just keep hearing something in the back of your head. So I'm going to use the analogy of leaving your your oven on that, you know, maybe you have to, oh, did I forget to, you know, I went out and I forgot to turn that off. Do I need to go back home and turn it off? So um, I'm going to tell you how you can deal with those kind of feelings. Uh, intuition involves all the senses. So we call those parasensory or the five clairs. So including uh, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, all those things. And um, 
I think I believe that anxiety really just involves the the nervous system. So maybe your breath uh, gets shallow or you hyperventilate. Uh, you may feel a queasiness in your gut, or it could even mimic a heart attack with a, a some kind of a panic attack. And I know many people have had those. So that's how anxiety tends to manifest in the body. So how do we tell the difference? Um, what I like to do, if I'm getting a, a strange feeling, I want to sit with it for just a moment. Um, I want to kind of go back and forth in my mind is like, am I just anxious about something else? Or is this really something I need to pay attention to? So if you feel like there's something frantic, and it's something I say, go out there and check it now, you know, or if you get a calm voice in the back of your head, it's like, you know what, I did remember to turn off the oven, you know, some the, the voice of reason comes in, then that is most likely your intuition. And, um, you know, and, and if even on the, the other end of the spectrum, if you feel like there's something that you need to take care of, then it will tell you, okay, go now. So that's how you differentiate the two. So I think it's most likely we're going to experience both during this time. And we just need to be really easy on ourselves, honor our feelings. And I think it's really important that we take time each day for self-care, whether that's meditation, Reiki, whatever you need, taking a, a bath, whatever works for you. Uh, maybe also to be in nature, to get in touch with nature, and, and then to unplug from social media, from the news, and that kind of thing that keeps us hyper vigilant and keeps us anxious. So that will do a lot to kind of get back to your voice and who you really are. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I also want to tell you that I am starting a mentorship in um, psychic and mediumship development. I've had a few students so far, it's going really well. And um, it depends on how many sessions that you want to take from me. I have a package of either three or five, but I'm, I'm really, um, happy to give you one session or you know a very short mini session to see what you want and see how I can help you develop your uh, your spiritual being and, and I would be I would be very honored to do that for you so if you want more information please visit my website www.readingsbyjenniferjean.com anyway uh, I hope you all stay well and safe and the light in me celebrates the light in you Thank you. Namaste.